What's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Artificial Artistry, where we take AI-generated images and retouch it in Photoshop. However, today I'm going to show you the practical use of AI image generators. So let's jump right into it. As you can see here, we have all sorts of artwork that's been generated using Midjourney. Things such as landscape paintings, characters, real artsy things. It really can create stunning images. 99% of the people using Midjourney are creating stunning images like this, but it's really only novelty use. There are practical uses for it. As you can see here, I've used Midjourney to create web page layouts for vehicle concepts to kind of showcase a new vehicle. Or you can use Midjourney to generate vehicle designs to help influence uh, your ideas, further render them out in Photoshop or a 3D program such as Blender. You can use Midjourney to generate character concepts and use them as references. You can create layouts for schematic drawings. You can use Midjourney to help you generate a user interface for an app or for a computer game. You can have Midjourney generate hundreds of images to kind of pick and choose what you like about them and then further render it out in Photoshop. Let's say you're a graphic designer and a restaurant approaches you to come up with a new layout for their menu. You can use Midjourney to generate hundreds of layouts and pick and choose what you like best from the ones you generate. And then in Illustrator, you can create your own layout based on what you generated. Let's say you create architectural drawings and layouts using floor plans. Midjourney can help you come up with ideas to help showcase your final product. Let's say you want to generate a comic using ChatGBT. You can then use that text as a prompt in Midjourney to help generate images that you can then bring into Photoshop to create panels for your comic. Let's say you create a new business and you need a logo. You can prompt Midjourney to create hundreds of logos and then bring the ones you like into Illustrator and make it your own. You can use Midjourney to generate hundreds of images for your storyboard uh, if you're a production artist. So as you can see, the possibilities are endless with AI image generator programs. So in conclusion, AI image generators are really going to streamline the process uh, for production artists. Whether we like it or not, AI image generators are here. They're already being used by professionals and as a tool for the future artist. It's not a necessary tool for artists, but it is a tool, much like Photoshop, Illustrator, and Blender. And there you have it. I hope I helped explain the practical use of Midjourney and other AI image generators like it. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, consider subscribing. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.